And with the final three picks in this year's draft, the Jets have added a tight end, a linebacker, and a cornerback. But what do I think of these guys? J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, I was going to make independent videos for each one of these players, but it's a little tough when there's not as much uh, information or videotape out there for them. So I decided to lump all three of them kind of together. Um, so first off, we're going to look at tight end Trayvon Wesco out of West Virginia with the 121st pick. At it, and it's become the norm now in college football. That's the tight end, Wesco. And Wesco! Obviously, uh, we have Chris Herndon, so this pick uh, seemed a little odd to, I think, a lot of fans. It's probably a little higher than I would have liked a tight end to go, but at the same time, Herndon is facing a DUI suspension, most likely, that he pled guilty to this past offseason. Uh, so I think we're going to see Wesco possibly fill in a little bit there, as well as some of our backup tight ends already. Um, he does have uh, good blocking skills. He can catch out of the backfield. He really only had production this past year. He only had two catches the two seasons prior to this year. Uh, so really a lot of room for growth for him. I don't think we should be overly... Uh, you know, expecting a lot from him. I think a, a depth role is, is pretty good. Um, if he could fill in on special teams, obviously that's huge too. Uh, he says he wants to, you know, be that piece that a team's looking for. He has no problem switching up his play style or being asked to do certain things. He takes pride in his blocking, so I think mixed with the lack of the run blocking support uh, from Idoga, uh, maybe this is a a nod towards helping run the ball better with Bell this season. He played a lot in that read option style offense, uh, so you saw a lot of it, you know, fake the running back handoff and then lob it over the top of the linebacker off the edge. So I think that's something we could see with Bell and Darnold and him. Maybe that's something we you know, throw into the offense a little bit. I like the pick, I guess. Um, I think when you get this late in the draft, it's sort of, you know, just take guys that you think could have a chance at sticking and, you know, have some upside. Uh, and I think having one really productive season while, you know, allowing that extra growth for future seasons. I think that's something that the Jets are hoping uh, to, to roll the dice on and kind of have a hopeful gamble. And then in round five, we decided to take linebacker Blake Cashman, the uh, linebacker out of Minnesota with the 157th overall pick. Gun, Chad Hanaoka, the third down back is out there. Thorson taken down by Blake Cashman. I do like this player. Um, he is probably a backup or a special teamer, probably as a ceiling. I don't know how much we're really going to get out of him uh, in terms of a starting you know, linebacker on our defense. Um, I do like that he's a captain on his uh, you know, college team. That's always a big, uh, I guess, green flag. <laughs> Not a red flag, green flag. Um, I don't know. I, I do like that from him. He doesn't have the, the speed and the strength of some of the other players in this class. When you watch him on tape, he's good at getting into the backfield and making those plays behind the line of scrimmage. But the issue that you'll have is if he makes the wrong decision, he doesn't have the physical skill set to actually recover from that. So he plays with his heart. He plays with his head a lot of the times, which is, which is nice. I think these are good personalities to bring into our locker room, uh, I think, from you know, from the top down, you start with Sam as like, you know, our overall, you know, kind of face of the franchise. He sets the tone and then you go all the way down to our special teams guys. And if you have guys that are going to work hard and they're going to show up to practice, they're going to, you know, put in the effort. What I did like about him too is he was a walk-on uh, at Minnesota. It took him two years to actually earn his scholarship. So he's fought for everything that he's had. I do like, you know, that little bit of a chip that he carries on his shoulder Players tend to, to carry that with them well. Obviously, you know, that walk-on mentality, you know, me against the world. I like that. I think players, you know, need to have that if they want to have that edge. Or some players need it. Other guys have the, you know, God-given gift uh, of the speed or the strength or, you know, whatever. Uh, and I think having those attributes are going to help him, you know, with any success that comes in the NFL. But I do think we need to hamper our expectations a little bit. I do think we should expect him to, to be a contributor on special teams. And, you know, hopefully, you know, provide value to us uh, in that, you know, one third of the football spectrum. With our final pick in this year's draft, we took Blashawn Austin, the cornerback from Rutgers with the 196th overall pick. Tanner Lee, backpedaling, rolling off his back foot, and he's thrown his eighth interception. 
interception of the season. Bless on Austin catching it as he fell to his back. I think this is kind of a, sort of a Hail Mary type uh, of, of draft pick. Um, he really hasn't played a whole lot the last two years. He suffered knee injuries. Uh, so really, what do we hope? We hope that he stays healthy through camp. We hope that you know he might be able to contribute on special teams. I hope he just makes the roster, honestly. Uh, he seems like a good guy. He's from Brooklyn. He's from the area. He went to Rutgers, obviously, so, you know, local kid. Um, he got in trouble, I guess, uh, through through grammar school growing up, uh, cracking jokes. He's a little bit of a class clown. I think you need to have some lighthearted guys in the, in the uh, room. I'm going to be rooting for this guy come, you know, training camp and everything. I'd like to see him have a full recovery. Obviously, I don't think we need to expect a crazy ton from him. He's not going to be our starting corner by any stretch of the imaginations, at least you know, until we see a little bit more out of him. Um, he wasn't able to run at the combine. His first time running, you know, after his surgeries was, uh, or after, I guess, the most recent surgery was at his pro day. He didn't have, like, the best times in his 40s. So, you know, sixth round, hopefully you take a flyer on a guy and, you know, he sticks in some capacity. Anything that you can get from a sixth round pick is going to be a bonus. Generally, these guys don't stick in the league too long. Um, but I'm definitely pulling for this guy, and I hope that he has a full, healthy recovery and can stay healthy moving forward. Let me know what you guys think down below. What do you think of these three players? What do you think of our draft overall? And as always, go Jets! J -E -T -S -J